Hey everyone, I was just watching one of Diane's videos and uh, she, I totally forgot. Must not have been that important. I'll think of it in a sec, hold on. Oh, by the way, while I'm thinking, this is how I eat peanut butter. My dad has no idea. There it is. Um, like, when I kind of get an image of speaking to adults over the internet, it's always so weird for me because I always just kind of instinctively assume that I'm talking to kids or young people in my peer group. You know, and this kind of stems from a habitual ideology that I conform to where I just automatically think that others around me see things in a similar way that I do. And this really plays back on how when I went to school as a young child, other kids would feel that they needed to conform. They would dress a certain way, speak a certain way, act a certain way, and the older and older we got, the stricter and stricter the rules of confirmation became if you wanted to be socially accepted into a peer group. And for a while, I kind of just slid through it because I perceived myself to be the, the group comedian. And I always got others to accept me as a, I would never accept myself through making them laugh. And like... I saw all the bullshit and what they did and how they did it and just, you know, I never really put any more energy or thought into their perception. I mean, I understood at some level that they took it a lot more seriously than me, but, but I never thought that, that they really believed in it, you know, because it was just so fucking stupid. And even when I was like totally fucking with my head and twisting rationale into springs and coils and bending it over on itself so that, you know, from first glance it appeared insane, I could always come up with rationalizational, rationalizational, logical rationalization for, for my beliefs. And I could get other people to see it my way, you know? So I always just assumed, you know, okay, they're not taking this shit they do seriously because it's bullshit. But then, on the backhand, I would bullshit myself about myself 24-7. You know? And like that, that comedian mindset I was talking about. Like, I'm pretty shy, to be dead honest, but... I still catch myself, like, like the peanut butter. Was I doing that to be funny as a form of expression, or was I doing that to be funny because I wanted to make other people laugh, you know? I don't know. So I guess in my lack of understanding, I'm deceiving myself. So I gotta forgive myself for that, you know? It's just like... Ever since I was a kid, I've been relying solely on rational mental concepts to understand and justify everything in my reality, from my parents to my family to my school life, and especially myself, more than anything, myself, you know, and I just like, I came to hate myself for it, like I really didn't fucking like myself. And I wasn't even aware of it. Like, I could look at the world around me and say, okay, you know, everyone around me is a stupid fucker. <laughs> and I would look at myself, and I could laugh at my own stupidity, but I, I never really, I was angry at myself for being scared at myself, you know? It just made no sense. And... 
you know, I'm not getting anywhere, am I? So I'm kind of ramb 